I'm Jeffrey Allen Schachter and welcome to the My Story Can Beat Up Your Story Structure Short Course video series. In this video and in the next seven videos, I'm going to present an overview of the storytelling principles and structure principles that I wrote about in my book, My Story Can Beat Up Your Story. I talk about in my webinars, the My Story Can Beat Up Your Story screenwriting crash course. And, um, and I think you're going to find it a really comprehensive, even though this is going to be quick, I can't give you the uh, entire thing because my wife will be very upset if I gave everything away. But I can give you a, a very concise and comprehensive overview of the entire system, and I think you'll realize the power of the My Story Can Be Up Your Story way of telling stories. Okay, so let's dive right in. The first principle we're going to talk about in today's video, the three-act structure and central question. So the three-act structure has been around since, oh, forever. And uh, it's been the way people have been telling stories because it's a natural way that we do tell stories. It's, we all know it's boy gets girl, boy loses girl, boy gets girl, spaceship goes up in space, sp spaceship gets crippled, spaceship gets uh, back to Earth. It, it, it's just it's a very convenient way of, uh, of telling a, a full and comprehensive and ample story. So um, I do make a bit of a distinction. I'm not the only one. Other people in screenwriting do talk about this. Um, I break up the three-act structure into four acts. So, here's how it works. Act one is one quarter of the screenplay. Uh, act two is divided in two pieces, okay, both equally as long as act one. So, you can say it's, uh, it's the first half of act two, and then the second half of act two. And act three is again as long as act one. So, as you can see, the three-act structure is broken up into four parts, and those four parts all conspire to equal 108 pages. Now, I know, it's not exact. it doesn't have to be 108, maybe it's 105, 110. What it isn't is 150, 160 pages, and there's a whole lot of reasons for that. Some of it is business-wise and some of it is just practical. First off, 108 pages is a very easy script for people to read. You've got to remember, the people you're going to give your script to, uh, they go home uh, every weekend with a stack of scripts like this big, um, and they have to work their way through it. They get a 160-page script, they're going to put that at the bottom of the list if they ever read it. 108 pages, they go, okay, that's not so bad. They can read it. So first off, 108 pages, easier to read. 108 page script, also cheaper to produce, right? Their kind of their mind goes that way. Because 108 pages, by the time you get done with editing, you end up with uh, a good 90 minute plus movie. So 108 pages is also a really good length for a finished movie. Also, 108 pages is faster to write. Uh, if, remember, if you've got to write 120 pages versus 108 pages, if you do the math, you'll see that's an extra two weeks of writing. And since one of the things I believe is that in order to have a career in screenwriting, you have to crank out the material, you shave two weeks off your writing process with every script, and, uh, and that starts adding up. So again, three acts broken into four parts, all equaling 108 pages. Now, if you notice at the little break between Act 1 and Act 2, there's something called the central question. So the central question is the question that once it's answered definitively yes or no, the movie's over. Uh, and more uh, accurately, the central question really should be called the central questions because a good central question has three components. And those components are physical component, an emotional component, and a spiritual component. So what do I mean by that? Let's look at the central question for Star Wars. The central question for Star Wars is, will Luke destroy the Death Star? save the princess, and become a Jedi like his father. And that's the physical, the emotional, and the spiritual components. Physical, destroy the Death Star. That's huge. That's a giant task. That means a lot to a lot of people. Will he save the princess? That's emotional, right? He feels a connection to the princess. It means a lot to him. It means a lot to the princess. Um, I hope it means a lot to, a, to the princess. It means a lot to the rebels. It doesn't necessarily mean a lot to somebody on the other side of the galaxy who doesn't even know the princess exists. So the physical means a lot to a lot. The emotional means a lot to a few. And spiritual, will he be a Jedi like his father? That means a lot to Luke. So a good central question is a physical, an emotional, and a spiritual component that all get answered either yes or no at the end of the movie. And you don't have to answer them all yes. There's some movies where, uh, like Dark Knight, for example, physical component is, will Batman defeat the Joker? The emotional is, will Bruce Wayne develop a relationship with Rachel? And the spiritual is, will Batman become the hero that Gotham deserves? And if you know the movie, and I hope you do because it's a terrific movie, the physical, yes, he does defeat the Joker. No, he does not get Rachel. And kind of, yes, 
he becomes the hero that Gotham deserves, but not in the way he thinks that uh, he thought at the start of the movie it would work out. So you can see that in, a, in movies you don't have to answer the central questions all yes or all no, but you can mix it up a little bit. And that brings us to the end of part one of the My Story Can Beat Up Your Story Structure Short Course video series. I hope you like what you saw because there are seven more videos just like it. Even if you didn't like it, there are still seven more videos coming. And um, I think you're going to really enjoy the information that we're going to have over the entire short course. So why don't you check us out online. I'm at mystorycanbeatupyourstory.com. Uh, once you're there, sign up for the mailing list. You'll get all sorts of interesting updates and sort of insider tips. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. So until next time, I'm Jeffrey Allen Schechter. Now quit watching me and go write something awesome.